everyone and welcome to Crafter's Castle YouTube Video Hop. I want to try to keep this short and sweet, so below in the description box, just click where it says show more, it will drop down, you will find links to all of the design team's videos for the hop, you will find all of the rules and everything you need to do so you can be eligible for the prize. The prize is going to be the two digital paper packs and two clip art packs from AMB Illustrations that the design team is using today. Actually, they're using them this month, and you don't want to miss out on that. And you must comment on all seven videos, which means you must watch all seven videos. <laughs> you must be a subscriber to all seven of us, and we would love the thumbs up. And there may be a secret prize given away on someone's individual channels. You're not going to know who's giving it away and you're not going to know where in the video to find out. So you're just going to have to watch all the videos and find out if there's a prize. And talking about prizes, oh my gosh. My project that I'm going to share with you are these adorable little post-it note holders. And I'm also going to be doing a tutorial to show you how to make them. And they have a place for a little pin, little three inch pin. You can get at a craft store or at some place like Staples. And then you open it up and you have your little post-its in here and a little pocket over here. So let's say you're writing down someone's phone number and you don't want to lose it. Just peel it off, fold it up and stick it in there. And they're so cute <laughs> and they're perfect for on your desk or in your purse or in the console of your car. And if you're in high school, they are great for your lockers. And I got my inspiration for these from two different blogs. They were Creating with Christina and Dawn's Stamping Studio. And I will put links in the description box below so that you can see what theirs look like. And the variation that I've done on mine was adding this little pocket. Um, they did not have that, but I like doing something a little bit different on mine. I don't like copying exactly, and I love adding pockets to things. I also wanted to share that the papers that I'm using today are from AMB Illustrations, and it is the Shabby Pink Spades Digital Paper Pack, and it's really pretty. Let me get you some close-ups here. These are just really beautiful papers, and I love that I can print them out any size that I need, which is what I did for this project. And then these labels, um, they came from the Rose Frames and Tags clip art pack, and it did not come with the writing on there. I did that. Well, look at that. I won't even focus anyway. <laughs> but there is... Um, a variety of, of labels and tags and frames that can be used and you can cut those out with your silhouette or your Cricut Explore or your brother scan and cut but I cut these out by hand and it really wasn't that hard to do so let's head on over and I'll show you how I made these to make these you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is three and a fourth inches by 10 and a half inches. And the really nice thing about that is you'll be able to get two of these out of an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock or three of them out of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So that's really nice. You can make a bunch of them. <laughs> and I already have mine scored, but I'm gonna walk you through the scoring. So with the 10 and a half inches going across there, we are going to score at three and one eighth, which is the little line just past the three. And then you're going to score at six and a fourth and six and five eighths, which is the little line just past six and a half. And then at seven inches. And like I said, I already have mine scored. So now it's time to start folding. Okay, so as you can see, that there are three score lines right there. Okay, and then the other is down at this end. So there's that score line, and then there's these three. We're gonna focus on these three. So just fold them all, just like this. And 
And then I want you to take that middle one. So there's one, two, three. So that middle one right there, we're gonna fold it on that line so that you have the other score line is right there and there's one on this side, okay? And now we are going to do some cutting, but first I'm gonna smooth this out. There we go, okay. So, with the shorter flap facing you, okay, we're going to take our scissors and we're gonna make a little cut over to that score line. You know, I'm not sure how well the black is showing up, but I'm not sure how well any color would show up. But we're gonna do a little snip. So I will show you, and I am not measuring down how far, so you just kind of eyeball it. And now we're going to fold it the other way. I know this is just really hard to see on camera, but oh look at that, I think I'm getting it. You see that? So we have a valley fold with the one in the middle and a mountain fold with that little piece that we just cut the little snips. Okay, so it looks like that. Let me see if I can get a better view for you. Sorry, I'm having focusing issues with my camera, but I think I got it. So there's that flap that we were talking about. And there is where we did the valley fold with the ends and the mountain fold with that that comes out. That's where the pin's going to go. And so it kind of looks like this right now. Now we're opening this up. And so the inside has that little... Now the inside looks like a mountain. <laughs> the part that was a valley before is a mountain on the inside. And we're going to put some tape, some double-sided tape right along this edge. Right along this edge, but obviously not in that empty space. And then we're going to adhere that to the back panel. Okay? So it looks like that. Peel that off. And we're going to just fold it over. And so it's adhered to the back. And we're just going to make sure that this piece is popped out. So now it looks like this, and that's where the pin is going to go. And we're going to flip it over, and this is going to be the back panel where we're going to stick the post-its. Okay, so this is where the post-its are going to go. This is where the pin is going to go. Really, this lighting is really bad. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go to this score line. And we're going to fold that in. I'm going to get my little bone folder here. And now, this is what it looks like. And now we need to decorate it. And then I will show you how we're going to make the pocket on the inside. For this next step, you're going to need to cut out your designer paper so that you can decorate your book so it goes from looking like this to looking like this. So let's start with the back of the book. For that you're going to need a piece of paper or cardstock that is three inches tall by three and one eighth inches wide. So three inches tall, three and one eighth inches wide and that will fit nicely on the back. 
just like that. And then for the front, you're going to need a piece that is three inches tall by two and seven eighth inches wide. And that will be for the front. And I'll set those aside because you're gonna need two more pieces that are also three inches tall by two and seven eighth inches wide. So you will need two of those and those are for the inside. So let's get started. I'm gonna move these aside and we're gonna start with the back. And make sure that you have it going the right direction because the size is so close that that works but if you turn it that way, it doesn't quite look as good. So just make sure that you have it going the right direction. And you can use double-sided tape, a tape runner, whatever you want. I'm going to be using my Beacon 3-in-1 because it's what works best for me. Now let's go to the front. And again, make sure that it's going the right direction before you put the glue on. And now we have the cover done. So front and back cover. And now it's time to move to the inside. So just to keep things easy, this one has the stripe in the background. And so I'm going to also put this stripe for the back of that pocket. And it's going to go right there. So you're going to have these flaps on either side. It's going to go right there. Okay, so now you have this piece. Do not put it on this inside right there. I know that would be really tempting, but we're gonna fold this over, So, or you can just open it out. So you'll have the back, the front, and now we're gonna put this piece on right here. And again, make sure that you have it going the direction that you want it to go. So let's get that on. Gonna to wanna to make sure you have a lot of adhesive on this one. Oop, let me make sure I get it going the direction I want here. Um, because we're gonna be doing some cutting and so you really wanna make sure that there's plenty of adhesive so that you don't have any, you know, loose spots when we cut here in a minute. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready for the fun part. We're gonna do some measuring. So, with this opened up, this is the part we're gonna work with. We are going to measure, let me see if I can get this right. It's hard to see, I should have not used black because these little black lines are not gonna show up good for you guys. But we want to do a mark three-fourths of an inch from this score line right here, from right there. So three-fourths of an inch, and that is the top. I'm gonna to turn it around so you can see. So there's the mark right there. So this is the direction that the book goes, okay? The next mark we're gonna do is over here on this side, and we're gonna go up three-fourths of an inch from the bottom. So again, Measure, put a little mark. Now, I like to do this. So we're gonna line the ruler up with those edges of the marks. And we're gonna draw a line right across, just like that. And now you can either use your scissors to cut along that line, or you can use that line to line up with your trimmer. Let me grab that and I'll show you. Okay, I want to show you, but again, with the, the darkness of the paper and everything, it's not gonna show up really well. But let me lift it up here. Let me line it up and try to show you. If you could see the pencil mark there lines up with the 
the cutting ridge right there. And that makes it really easy to see that I am cutting it in the right spot. So, or like I said, you can use your scissors and cut it. It works just as well. And now we fold it over and we have a pocket. But first we're gonna have to put some double-sided tape on this. All right, so we're gonna put the double-sided tape along the bottom and on that little three-quarter of an inch space right there. And there you go. We've created a pocket. Isn't that cute and easy? Now it's time to add the post-its. And we're gonna be using some double-sided tape. Um, I'm using half inch. You can use bigger, smaller, more or less, it doesn't matter. And getting out my little post-its here. These are three inches by three inches. So they're the standard three inch by three inch. Make sure you have the right end there. And I'm going to take the, uh, the wider tape and I'm gonna put it right across the back of this. Okay, and I'm gonna put a second strip across the back. You can add two or three if you would like. And the cool thing is when, you know, when this um, post-its, when the stack of post-its are gone, you can always add more just by doing the same thing, putting tape on the back and putting the next one in. So let's peel this off. And you see this edge right there? That's where we're putting this. This edge has to go up against that edge right there. So just line it up. Make sure it's right there. And always make sure your paper is going the right direction before you do this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I need to pay attention to what I'm doing and not paying attention to talking to the camera here. Okay. And there we go. Turn it over, rub it a little bit to make sure that it's adhered really good. And there you go. There's your little pocket. Oh, wait a minute. Let me grab a pin. I'll be right back. And here's the cute little pin that just slides right in there. Isn't that awesome? Now for the label on the front. I already have it cut out and I already wrote notes on the front of it like I did with the others because I just thought that was something cute to say. Besides, I didn't have anything better to say. So let me grab some my 3D foam squares here. Put a couple of those on there. And we'll have this finished in a jiffy. You guys usually never get to see me add papers and any embellishments or anything. But today, you do. Is that just cute or what? So that's how easy it is to make these. And I hope you give it a try. Thank you all for hopping along with us today. And don't forget, the links to everything you need are below. All of the directions are below. Don't miss out. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about the other giveaway. So I'm having a giveaway. It is called a trifecta because there are three things that you need to do. And this giveaway has already been going on and it's going to continue to go on until all of the qualifications are met. So I'm gonna put a link below in the description box to my trifecta giveaway. It will give you all of the details so you don't have to listen to them all right now. So in the description box below, look for the trifecta giveaway where you can win a $50 gift certificate to the store of your choice or, I mean, well, they have to have gift certificates, so to your favorite craft store that offers gift certificates, or if necessary, I will deposit the $50 into your PayPal account. So be sure to check out that giveaway, everyone, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.